Back. The Earth's glaciers and ice sheets are melting at an alarming rate. A group of UK scientists have found that a staggering 28 trillion tons of ice have disappeared in the last 23 years. The scientists are predicting that this could cause sea levels to rise by up to a metre by the end of the century. Let's explore this further with climate modeler at the Global Change Institute, Francois Engelbrecht. Uh, Francois, good evening to you. Thank you for your time. Please put into context this disappearance of this 28 trillion tons of ice from the surface of the earth. What does it mean? Good evening, Clement. Thanks for having me. Yes, this is indeed a startling finding to put us, to put us into perspective um, so much ice, 28 trillion tons of ice, that's equivalent to covering the entire Free State and Northwest provinces of South Africa under about a meter of ice. Mm. So all of this has been lost um, in a period of less than 30 years. And th this, is, this is now, of course, referring to the total loss in ice across the entire planet Firstly, from the big ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica, but also from the glaciers in South America and Canada and Europe and Asia. So across the entire planet, glaciers are in retreat, and that is, of course, because of the systematic warming of the planet, because of our continued reliance on fossil fuels as our, as our main source of energy on the planet. Mm. What are the practical consequences of this? For instance, how will people from low-lying areas be affected? Yes, well, the, the long-term consequences are, are severe. So if we continue to warm the planet at the, current light, at the current rate, we can expect the rate of ice loss to accelerate. And by the end of the 21st century, the estimates are of, uh, according to this specific study, um, of an uh, increase in the global sea level in the order of one meter. Now, to put that into perspective, the general rule is that every centimeter of sea level rise results in about a million people being displaced from the world's most low-lying areas. So you can make the calculation yourself, but we are looking here at at least tens of millions, but perhaps about 100 million people being displaced during the course of the 21st century by systematic sea level rise. Mm. On, on top of that, there are also consequences for countries such as, such as our own. We have quite a steep coastline, but we are still impacted by sea level rise because it means that whenever there, whenever there is a big storm moving along the coastline, or whenever a big tropical cyclone makes landfall over our neighboring country, Mozambique, the, the damage from the storms are so much bigger that the coastal erosion is more severe. And the storm surge that occurs in, when a tropical cyclone specifically makes landfall is higher because of the systematic increases in sea level we are experiencing. Mm. How significant is this finding? My understanding is in the past, researchers have studied individual areas such as Antarctic and, and, and Greenland where ice is melting. But this is the first time that anyone has looked at all the ice that is disappearing from the entire planet. Yes, exactly. So most of the, 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 the biggest concerns about sea level rise have always been focusing on Greenland because that is the single most important part of the world yeah. when it comes to contributions to sea level rise. Mm. So this is indeed, now, now, that, now that we have remote sensing data, so satellite observations, it's indeed possible to look back several decades into the past. And when this has now been done for the first time, looking at all the glaciers of the world, and this startling finding was made. But, but I should say that climate scientists have been warning about sea level rise yeah. for several decades. In, in fact, the first major report from, from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, that dates back to 1990, 30 years ago exactly. And already then, climate scientists were very clear in their message that we as humans are causing global warming mm. because of the fact that we are continuously emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And of course, one of the main impacts of global warming 
a systematic sea level rise. Mm. So it is not it is not that it is entirely um, new th these findings. Um, it is important to take note that the rate of the rate at which sea levels are rising, and the rate at which the world's glaciers are melting, are perhaps larger than estimated in the past. So previously, climate scientists have estimated that sea level rise may be in the order of 50 centimeters to a meter by the end of the century. This study helps us to understand that we are probably looking at, the, at these more worst case estimations yeah. to be the reality by the end of the century. So this study guides us towards understanding better the future rate of sea level rise. Mm and it, that it may well be in the order of a meter by the end of the century. How does it help us, though, in terms of awareness and action that needs to be taken to avoid uh, further disaster to our planet? Firstly, sea levels are rising already. As we, as we are discussing this tonight, the estimation is that sea levels are already 20 to 30 centimeters higher than what they are supposed to be. So these impacts are occurring already across the world. And by studies such as this one, we understand better the rate of, of melting and the rate of sea level rise. This means we can improve our predictions for the next few decades and through the end of the century. Mm -hmm. And it tells us something else that is important. Um, we can still make a difference, at least when it comes to the rate of sea level rise. So if we can manage to slow down the process of global warming, um, we will be able to adapt more easily to the somewhat slower rises in sea level. Mm. But if we are not going to do anything and we are going to persist with our in, in the way that we currently generate energy on the planet, so if we can continue to burn coal and oil across the planet, then it means sea level rise will, will occur very, very rapidly, far more rapidly than yeah. through any natural process. And we will be increasing, it will become increasingly difficult for us to adapt to these changes. All right. Francois, thank you so much for your time. Francois uh, Engelbrecht is a climate modeler at the Global Change Institute.